Welcome back to this final lesson of the encryption server side encryption on Amazon S3 with the command line interface. Um, now, so far we've looked at encrypting individual objects when uploading to Amazon S3 through the command line interface. But what if you um, you know want to encrypt everything that goes inside a bucket, right? So that once you encrypt a certain bucket or once you put a policy that says encrypt everything inside a bucket then you don't need to individually encrypt objects inside the bucket and I think that's a um, very uh, efficient and safe way to encrypt so that you don't forget um, to encrypt uh, an item by mistake so um, I'm going to create a new bucket. I'm going to show you how to do that with the console first, right? So with the console, uh, basically test bucket one, two, three. I'm going to name a random bucket. Next, um, now on the second um, page, in the default encryption, it says automatically encrypt objects when stored in Amazon S3. Now, if I wanted to do this through the console, I would say I would choose either of this, which is server-side encryption S3, um, or this, which is server-side encryption KMS, and I have to provide a key. Um, so, for this demonstration, I'm, I'm going to choose the first option. Well, the second option, AES256, save, next, next, create bucket. So um, when I click on that bucket, when I go to properties, then I can see that there's a check mark here, automatically encrypt objects when stored in Amazon S3. Um, now, what if I want to do that through the command line interface? So let's move on to the command line. And um, I'm going to link uh, some documentation um, so that you can look into the documentation and see where I found uh, the commands that I'm using now. So, um, but before we start, I want to um, remind you to update your AWS um, CLI. If you um, if you haven't, because I ran into a problem when I tried to call this uh, make um, make an API call, um, and apparently my um, the version of my AWS CLI was uh, outdated. So if you run into a problem when doing this lab, then uh, you might want to up um, upgrade with this command sudo pip aws cli upgrade this will upgrade your uh, aws cli and uh, if you're on windows uh, i think you can do the same thing with pip aws cli upgrade all right so i've already done this so i'm not going to do this again um now basically for this um for this lab to encrypt the whole bucket by well to encrypt the um, files by default or the encrypt the objects by default in a bucket when they're uploaded um, I need to create a rule and, and I can pass that into a command that I put so I have a, a JSON policy like um, text I'm going to show it to you so it's like a IAM policy right but uh, it's, it's not exactly an IAM policy but uh, it's a rule um, that says apply server-side encryption by default um, and I can choose the algorithm in this case it's AWS KMS and I also can choose the master key ID um, so 
I have this file on my folder already so I'm gonna include this file um, as as well the this this text on the description so um, you don't have to type it in so I have this file on my current folder and what I want to do is say AWS now this is a different thing from what we have done so far we used to say AWS S3 and LS or MB that kind of stuff now we're using AWS S3 API put bucket encryption bucket my well the the name of my bucket is um, let me get the name of my bucket that I just created this is the name of my bucket and once again currently we have the AES 256 encryption and we, we're gonna change that encryption to um, something else so I'm gonna copy the name of the bucket right so at this point I have to say server side encryption configuration right so AWS S3 API put bucket encryption bucket and I put the bucket name here and I'm saying server side encryption configuration and right here I will include the file that I showed you right so policy.json now this was the policy.json contents of policy.json so let's see what happens when I do this okay so we didn't get any errors which means that probably everything went well and to confirm that I'm just gonna go back to my bucket and um, as you can see it's still AES 256 but I haven't refreshed this so once I refresh now the default encryption is AWS KMS now um, as, as you can see um, if I upload a random file to um, let me see so why don't we do this through the command line interface so if I say AWS um, s3 copy um, I'm gonna copy the policy dot JSON to um, test bucket one two three R T right so I didn't put any encryption flag or anything I just uploaded the file now let's go back to the console refresh this check on the file and I can see that it's encrypted with KMS right now what if I wanna switch to a different type of encryption and for that I have made another file ready so policy.json is the one we used just now I also have a policy sse.json so I'm gonna go back to the uh, put bucket encryption command that I used earlier and instead of policy.json I'm gonna say policy SS, um, sse dot json and before we uh, move further let's see what what's inside the policy um, sse.json so the only difference is right here so instead of um, here being KMS and me providing the KMS ID the key ID right here so this becomes AS256 I don't have to provide a key ID because the key is taken care of by um, taken care of by Amazon at this point if I use the SSC s3 encryption so since I already executed this command 
and I didn't get any error if I go back to my bucket then now the default encryption should be not KMS right so it still shows KMS but what if I refresh now it's AES256 so we were able to change um, the encryption type and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload a new file policy sse.json to the bucket and now let's see the encryption type of those both of those um, files or objects so the first one if I click on this still has KMS because when we upload it the default encryption type was KMS now if I click on the second one AES256 because when I uploaded the file or object the default encryption type was AES256 or server-side encryption S3 so this is how you do it um, do implement server-side encryption on a bucket level uh, or um, I would say you would implement default encryption on a bucket level so that any file or object you upload to the bucket will automatically be encrypted with the uh, encryption option you choose so this concludes the lesson um, um, if you have any questions you know please um, ask um, the questions uh, in the discussion section um, now KMS is uh, something that um, really confused me at first and um, if you are planning to take exam uh, solutions architect exam or uh, sysop admin exam or even developer or associate exam I think you will get a couple of questions uh, surrounding the type of encryption keys so I hope at least you get an idea of when to use which type of um, server-side encryption right I think we um, we are all clear on that um, now small details here and there might uh, might not be um, that clear but if you read on the documentation for the KMS and if you read on the white papers um, for KMS there's a white paper just for the KMS I think you have even um, better idea on what's actually going on when we implement server-side encryption and with that I want to conclude this sex, uh, section um, I will see you in the next section